I can record these two. All right, all right. So you guys understand what a lead magnet is. Do y'all understand what that is? Well, first of all, do y'all have any questions before I get started? Because y'all may have questions. Nope. Go on once. Go on twice. Please give us the true definition of lead magnet. Maybe OK, so a lead magnet is like when you put something out and you get people to respond. You know, you put something out like um, buy one, get one free. That's a lead magnet. You know, if you've seen them in stores before or just anything to kind of catch someone's attention, that's a lead magnet. And if you really want to know what a lead magnet is, we'll go look at it right fast. Let's Google, what is a lead magnet? Boom. A lead magnet is a marketing term for a free item or service that is given away for the pur purpose of gathering contact details. For example, lead magnets can be trial subscriptions, samples, white papers, e-newsletters, free consultations. Marketers use lead magnets to create sales leads. So in our case, a, a sales lead, I mean, I'm sorry, a magnet can be anything that's gonna attract the client. Um, you know, with social media being like prevalent in business nowadays, you gotta, your page gotta be attractive for people. So, a lead magnet is something that you can use to make it attractive. And one thing about our product that we have, everything is attractive about travel. So what I like to do, I like to use travel and leisure. Anybody familiar with travel and leisure? Yes. Yeah, well, they send emails out, but this one is actually in VAX. And if you come to VAX, they got it right here, Travel and Leisure. <laughs> World's best awards. But you can go to their website and get on it too because they send me this stuff like all the time. And what I do, I save it because I like to give it to um, people in my organization to kind of help them with marketing. But it's become quite overwhelming. So I think I should show you guys how to do it. So you see how it already, it already gave me top 10 of something top 10 Colorado resorts. So if I click on that, what's gonna happen, it's gonna give me these top 10 resorts. Now I'm gonna show you what not I would not do. This, what is, this is what I would not do. I would not just grab this link and I would not just do this. Let me close all this stuff out. I wouldn't just post that on my page. I wouldn't do that. And it's not a wrong thing to do, but I think it's so much content just inside these 10 resorts. Why not use that as lead magnets? Okay. So one thing I would do, I would just take this right here. Top 10 Colorado resorts. Come to this puppy. And I just put top Colorado resorts. You see what I'm doing? Hello? Yes, you do. Okay. So I just took top. Now it's 10 resorts. And if you guys ever go back and listen to the calendar training, where we talked about your, con I mean, your content calendar, you got 10 resorts. How many days in a week? Seven, right? I'm not saying post this every single day, every one, but you can just take one, right? Uh oh, let me close all that out. Here we go, put it right here. All I did, top Colorado Resorts, Ice Roy Snowmass, Snowmass Village, right? And now, I can grab a fun fact about the place. I can go to the hotel, grab information about the place. But I want you to think about this. 
just in this ad, you have 10 properties, right? But you could just talk about this property every Monday, the Viceroy, what they, you know, their food, the um, things to do around the hotel, a little bit about the hotel. That can be a property you talk about for three or four weeks straight, right? And it's Colorado, okay? It's, it's not the Caribbean. You know, a lot of times we advertise the Caribbean, right? But the Majestics Peaks, the Snowmass, blah, blah, blah. Now, I can just post this right here. The Majestic Peak, Snowmass, blah, 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 blah. And one thing I don't do, I'm going, I'm going to back up for a second. I want to, I want to, I want y'all to see this. Hold up, let me cut and do all that. Another thing I would highly advise against, I wouldn't copy all of this. <laughs> it posted on my page, but I'll show you why. Let me show you why. All right, I'll post that on my page, and I'll just grab a picture. Right, I'll just grab a random picture. Hold up. And you can use this anytime. You don't have to just post it one time. That's that's another thing I want you guys to kind of always consider. Because you post it one time, I mean, that don't mean you can't post it again. So when I post this, watch this. Now, y'all ever heard the saying, people don't like to read? Anybody ever heard that saying before? And it's definitely true. But you see, I have about four or five sentences all rumbled together, right? So just imagine if we just kind of shorten it up, because y'all remember, keep it short. Keep it short. I could take all this off. I'm gonna show y'all a secret here. I can take all this off. That's there. And now I have that. A little less to read, right? But I want y'all to consider this. When I was going somewhere with this and I got kind of sidetracked, so please forgive me. Those other four sentences, what can we do with those? Make other posts. There you go. And do, can you make those posts with different pictures, right? Because they got a website, right? And if you go to their website, I haven't been in a while. Well, I'm not saying I don't go here all the time. I'm not gonna lie to you, but I've seen the property before. I can go. Oh, that looks nice already. Oh, it's the number one resort. Can't you? Can, you could put that there too, can't you? But if I just go grab a picture, it could be that. Now I can use that for another sentence, right? <laughs> You, you guys you guys seeing what I'm doing here? Yes. But it adds consistency to your post because think about it. We're only doing this with one property. One. How many do we have? Ten. Ten. So you think about, okay, my DMO today, make a post. I got my ad. And you don't have to post it right now, but you can make this post and send it to your messenger. And when you send it to your messenger, you always have it, right? And also, you think about these other resorts, other properties. You can do the same thing with that. Same thing with that. And that's just Colorado. If you come here, How many hotels is that? A hundred. The top 20, the best cities in the world. Top 25 islands in the world. Top 15 cities in, the list goes on and on, but what you have to really master is just being consistent with it. You follow what I'm saying? And all these right here are value educational posts and authority posts because you letting people know what you do. And, and I didn't mean to start on Colorado. It's funny how the world kind of lines up because I am about to look for Colorado once I get off the Zoom with you guys. But you see, I, I wouldn't put 
the 25 best cities, I'll take off 25 and just put the best cities. Nobody, I mean, even if they know where you got it from, it doesn't really matter. But always remember, content is going to drive your business. And all this is, is an e-magazine. They send this stuff all the time. As you can see, <laughs> 25 things before boarding the plane, 14 must visits to a private island. I mean, they send this stuff all the time, but I want to just show you how you can just leverage what they already send to you, send to you and use it for yourself. Because like I said, I would not post that link because now if a person opened it up, you may have somebody that reads that. And not to say that people wouldn't typically read, but anytime you have an ad, you really want to condense it. And since they're giving you so much meat right here, just for this one, you can use this for a lot of stuff. And if you didn't want to use that, you could always go to their website. And on their website, it tells you, Travel and Leisure's number one resort hotel in Colorado. And when you do stuff like that, it adds value to your brand because now people feel like, oh, this person knows where the best resorts are. This person knows a lot about travel. So as they come in and talk to you and you qualify them, you can decide if you want to move forward with a person because sometimes they are shopping you. You follow what I'm saying? But always be mindful that you got so much content. I mean, I, I saw this. Did I move it? Did I close it out? Oh, I saw this in the back of Vax because I get the emails all the time. And I said, I really want to show you guys just right, was, we're right at your fingertips. This just one thing. So another thing I'm not sure if you guys saw inside the group. Hold up. Let me go here. Marketing mastery. There's something else that I've got. Authority post. I'm not sure if you guys saw this, but I like to use these things to advertise myself. So this is why you the travel agent, expertise, and just something real quick. Certified agents, blah, blah, blah. Contact me for your travel needs. You always wanna put that call to action. But I also made another post in here. Uh, let me see here. Of other things that you can use. Why use a travel agent? Expertise. Um, to save money and add value. I wouldn't put save money, I'll put add value resources and relationships and it gives a little short sentence better destinations and you could just grab a picture of yourself sitting at your computer or you can grab get a picture of your computer or you can get a picture of yourself or something you don't, that you've been on vacation before and post that so now you have value for you which may be prakisha martin right along with this kind of value you know the number one resorts I keep clicking on that. This kind of value, and always remember, when you connecting with people, even in these groups, I'm not sure if you guys, do you guys do a lot of groups, group um postings? Why well, just show no, you? Not a lot. Oh okay. yeah, that's, that's sweet. Somebody, somebody on this call might be familiar with this group, right? Anybody familiar with this group? Somebody give me a one. I'm just teasing you. But even here, I'm not selling you anything. I'm branding myself, but it's allowing me to reach a lot more people than just the 30 or 40 people that may like our post in a month. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and also you gotta remember, you're not posting for likes. And, and we've talked about that. I don't have to explain that to this group. Um, you always wanna post for looks because you think about it. The things we sell cost hundreds and thousands of dollars. So people have to know, like, and trust you in this one way you can do it. Because as you add in value, add in value is sharing information, right? You look, what is the lead magnet? <laughs> I want to gather your contact details. Because as you reach out to me and I'm qualifying you, y'all remember how we qualify where you want to go, what's your email, your budget, you know, do you have an animal, whatever it is you qualify them with. Now you're getting the information and y'all know we have this big old CRM back here. Everybody 
You ever use this CRM? The free CRM? I haven't used it, so I, I'll go to pay. Anybody ever use it? I've seen it. I have clients in it. Yeah, yeah. So if you come back here and you see this marketing and sales tool, as you gather that information, now you can always market to them. Email, newsletter, the IntelliTravel post office, where you'll be able to send them brochures and things for free. For free. And that, ladies and gentlemen, allows you to stay top of mind. And another thing that it does is more targeted. Those people opted in, but we have to create the lead magnet, right? By putting content out there. And we get all this. I need to close this one down. I keep clicking on it. We get all this content from places like this, which is this e-magazine. And I'm telling you, it's a lot of good information back here. Use it. If you want to give them credit, present it by Travel and Leisure, that's fine. Add you some hashtags at a city. Put a call to action. And a call to action, ladies and gentlemen, is a contact me or the first 10 people. I'm going to register as my VIP clients on my website. This right here gets people to reaching out to you. So now you become the hunted versus the hunter. And who would want their phone to ring all the time? Or their email messenger to be jumping off? Are you getting tagged and stuff and people reaching out to you? And all you're doing is just qualifying these leads and pushing them down through the funnel. And some going to pop, some not. You can't get emotional about it because it is business. Because we do, we shop, we shop around too, right? But yeah. just understand that all this information is back here for you. And I definitely would leverage groups. I'm, I'm in a lot of groups. And, and sometimes, guys, when you, when you are creating your calendar for your stuff, you know, just understand that you plant a seed, then you're moving on. And when you come back in here and you see somebody liked it, thank you for the support, Martin. <laughs> you know, you have to engage with those people, too, because one thing I also want you guys to think about, you have to work on connections. See, if you don't have any connections, you can't get no collections because people, they, they're just not going to deal with you because they feel like you're trying to sell them something. So it's almost like, you know, you see the politician come out in the neighborhood and kiss the babies and, and smile for the cameras. I'm not saying be a politician but you just can't drop something off and leave and expect it to nourish. You have to go in here and start liking other people posts, commenting on their stuff, connecting with other business um, minded individuals. Cause we have said things like these people may not want to buy. See other business owners, see other people. And plus they know other business owners. Another business owners like to go on vacation too. Do we have any questions? No questions. Well, I want y'all to think about this. Get you a state that you like or get you something that you like. You know, it don't have to be Colorado. I'm going to do Colorado. If y'all want to do what I'm doing, that's fine. And just stay consistent with your content and think about that C. Consistency and content, collections, connections. Connections and collections, I'm sorry. I like that. Everything starts with a C, right? But you have to do these things over and over and over and just make sure you always qualifying people because we don't want people to waste our time. And I want you to look at the time waster aspect of it. If I go look for this for someone and I see this nice property, if I like the property, but they didn't buy it, I can always keep that property as my Colorado property. So don't look at it as a total wash when you're looking at looking for stuff for people. You just want to minimize your time and, and maximize your efficiency when you're doing. It. Anyone have any questions? Well, I want to thank you all for showing up for your own success. And if you guys have anything you want to talk about as far as the travel aspect of things y'all want to learn, let me know and, and, and trust and believe people want our product. 
They're going to buy it. You just want to let them know you have it. So you stand the chance to getting it bought from you. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I get this in the group before the week out. You know, I've been working a little bit better at doing this. But thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you, Jamal. Hey, no problem. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Thank you, Director. How you stop this thing? And there we go.